Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Tallahassee, Florida, it's time for Tallahassee Business Radio. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Tallahassee Business Radio, and this is going to be a good one. Today, we have with us Brian Wyatt with Be Easy Graphics. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. Now, before we get too far into things, tell us about Be Easy Graphics. How are you serving folks? Well, we are a team of visual storytellers. We believe that every brand has a story, and so we're actively working to help build, create, and accelerate those brand stories. With scroll-stopping visual experiences, whether it's with graphics or video, click-worthy website designs, and growth-driven marketing strategies. So now, do you have a sweet spot, or do you have a typical kind of client that you serve? Uh, yes, of course. We serve a lot of um, entrepreneurs who are either just getting started or they're in the process of scaling, and most of them tend to be uh, consultants, um, and they just need a little bit of help. So we would kind of classify them as solopreneurs. Um, because, you know, if you're trying to grow a business all by yourself, it can be troublesome um, because you're only one person with 17 different tasks. Well, we equip them with the strength of an entire marketing team for less than half the cost of one salary. So they can do more with less. So now when you're working with these folks, do they have any kind of real marketing knowledge or they like they might be a good accountant or a lawyer, but do they really know anything about um, marketing or do you have to educate them? You're absolutely right. Yeah, most times they do not. Um, and we do educate them along the way. That's one of the reasons why we pride ourselves on working with our clients and not for them. Um, because some of the things that we work and do for them, um, we uh, do trainings and videos and leave them with documents and resources that um, can make their business a little bit more sustainable over time. Now, what is um, kind of one of the misconceptions you hear all the time that, you know, they just aren't getting or they don't really understand the importance of when you talk to a new client? Well, most clients think marketing is strictly sales and advertising, um, and they kind of mistake what we do in marketing for sales activation, which is totally different. Um, marketing is more of a long term um, playing the long game. Um, sales and advertising is more to kind of get that. Um, short-term sales and revenue goals. And those will work for you over a period of time, but it's it works like most economics. There's going to be peaks and valleys. valleys. You're going to have times where sales are high and you're going to have times where sales are low. And it's because of obvious reasons. There are times when people have money and there are times when people don't have money, whether it's the two-week payroll stretch or the once-a-month salary, there's always some kind of problem. But with marketing, you're building relationships with your customers or your clients. And those type of relationships have meaning with people. And when you create a relationship with meaning, they start to refer you to their friends, their family, and you see a lot of long-term strategic growth with marketing. And that's kind of what we focus on, that cognitive behavior marketing that's driven by data and research. So walk me through what kind of an engagement looks like. Say, um, like you mentioned professional services and solopreneurs, like say I'm the um, a consultant in Tallahassee and I'm thinking about doing something more with my marketing or doing something for the first time, what does that first conversation with you or your team look like? Well, the first conversation is more of an assessment. Um, we ask quite a few questions to get a good understanding of how far you've come, what worked, what didn't work, um, what you saw results from, so that we can learn what not to do and what to kind of keep moving forward with when we start working with you. And based on that, we take that research and we go online and see what people are saying about your brand. Um, we look up what your reputation is, um, what reviews people are giving you, and of course, um, any information we can find that's publicly available. And then we spit that back out into a report and assessment to let you know how we can help you improve, whether it's increasing your website traffic, um, getting you more social media followers. And of course, as the trend goes, the more followers, the larger your audience, the more customers you can get. And so that's usually what that first engagement is like. It's, it's mostly discovery and learning. And then, so you do this and you kind of uh, then, I guess, make some recommendations like, okay, we're going to need to beef up your website. We're going to need to beef up your social media presence. And now is that something you're just telling me? And then now it's my problem to do, or is this something you can help me with? Oh yeah, you're absolutely right. We give them an option. Um, so once we provide that report, we let them know what we can do. Um, all of our website designers are, are certified in growth-driven web, web design. And what that means is we design websites 
that are strategically driven to help them get more customers, get more clicks on their website um, based on user research. And so we'll make those recommendations to them on how we can improve their website, what things we can do, how we can help them get more followers and more engagement on social media. And if we offer them a couple of options. Um, one will be an a la carte package where we'll bundle up a few services for them and then um, give them an offer. Or they can retain us over the long term in order to see that long term strategic growth. Now, how long does it take for uh, a client of yours to start getting traction and start seeing meaningful results? Usually that's within the first 90 days. Um, the first 30 days, again, like I said, is mostly discovery and learning. We um, will be focused mainly on doing the research. Um, <laughs> excuse me. We'll also um, test out a few campaigns to see how their audience responds to them. And then based on those results, we start implementing improved campaigns the next 60 days. I'm sorry, the next 30 days during the 60-day period. Um, and by the third month, we have it figured out and we know what works and what doesn't work. And that's when they start to see results, whether it's new website traffic, new leads, new customers, um, because all the ad campaigns and things that we've tested out during the first 60 days are starting to trickle in. Now, can you share an example or maybe a success story of one of your clients? I wouldn't name their name, but just maybe their industry and uh, what you were able to do for them and the result that it got? Sure. We had a um, we have currently a client um, who sells mostly feminine wellness products um, and they have a huge social media following. But um, that was pretty much the sole thing that was driving all their sales. And so they started to see a decline in their sales after the pandemic. So my team came in. We did some research. We identified who their target audience were. Uh, we launched some growth driven um <laughs> marketing campaigns and advertising campaigns that show the audience kind of what their pain points are and how their products can help solve them. And they saw a $60,000 month in sales uh, within the first 60 days, which is triple what they did in the previous quarter. Um, and it's looking like this next month is going to be about uh, 40,000 to 50,000 as well. So they're, they're exceedingly happy about the results so far. Um, and that just is a true testament of really doing your homework when you're doing marketing and not just, you know, um, filling the bucket with content. Now, do you find that a lot of your clients aren't really as clear on who the ideal customer is until they they listen to you and do some research that they think it's somebody in their in their head? They might think it's one group, but in reality, it might not be that exact group. Yes, that's usually the case, Lee. Most people um, don't know who their target customer is. In most cases, they're promoting their business to everyone. And that's kind of what we call the shotgun method, where um, you spend, if you had a $500 advertising budget, you're spending $500 promoting your business to men and women ages 18 to 65. But the truth is, you may only be needing to talk to men who are I don't know, between 35 and 55, and you'll get more bang for your buck by targeting those audiences versus the others. Um, and so we do a lot of educational series and content to help people with that exact problem. Um, we do free Facebook live videos on my Facebook page, as well as on the Easy Graphics, Facebook and Instagram to help people under understand and identify their target audience. Now, what's your backstory? How did you get into this line of work? Oh, it's a great story. So the name of the company is actually named after me. Be Easy is one of my nicknames. Um, and I got it back when I was in college in 2004 um, when the business first started. Um, it was then that my mom lost her job. And, you know, I was taught like most African-American men were taught from the south side of Chicago. Hey, go get a job and figure it out on your own. So, <laughs> of course, I wanted to try to live the good life. So I worked four or five jobs. Naturally, I couldn't continue um, exceeding and excelling in my studies. I think I had a 0 0.84 GPA by the end of 2005. As a result, I had to, um, I got kicked out of school. <laughs> um, I eventually got back in and graduated, but um, for the time that I was out, I couldn't go back home because I was, I guess I just had too much pride, um, but I was too stubborn um, mostly. And so I was couch surfing for about five to six months homeless. And during that time, I went door to door to businesses to ask them if I could design them a new sign, a new logo. And the first guy that hired me, he said, you know what, for everything that you're going through, 
Um, you make it look really easy. You have a really great positive attitude. You do really great work. You dress professionally. No one would ever know that anything was wrong. And so he nicknamed me Be Easy, and then Brian makes it look easy. And that became the vision of our company is to help make marketing easy and affordable for our clients. Now, do you do, uh, you mentioned your work with solopreneurs. Do you do any work with other groups like nonprofits or, um, you know, causes? Yes, we do. Actually, we love working with nonprofits. In fact, we have a very specific nonprofit discount that we offer to all nonprofits that we work with of 25% off. Um, just because we want to democratize what we do and make it a little bit more accessible for them. Um, and we work with large organizations and government agencies because we are a certified minority and veteran-owned business and enterprise throughout the state of Florida and in Tallahassee. So now what's the most rewarding part of the job for you? Is it getting a new client or having one of your clients be successful? Um, I, I would say it's neither. And it sounds bad, but for me, it's that aha moment when the client learns something new that they didn't know before that's going to take their business to the next level. And then we can really partner together to make that happen. Um, that inspiration moment um, is probably the most rewarding part for me. So now if there is a company out there that wants to work with you and learn more about uh, some of your offerings and they want to get that, the, that aha moment themselves, what's the website? <coughs> Sure. The website is beeasygraphics.com. That's spelled B-E-Z-G-R-A-P-X, P-H-I-X. Excuse me, I'll spell it one more time. The website is beeasygraphix.com. Well, Brian, thank you so much for sharing your story today. You're doing important work and we appreciate you. Thank you very much for having me. It was a pleasure talking to you, Lee. All right, this is Lee Cantor. We will see you all next time on Tallahassee Business Radio. Mm -hmm.